Hi, Vinny here. Today I'm going to be discussing what I carry in my tool rigs, my tool belts, my pouches, whatever you want to call them. I'm in the process of making them all one Occidental rig, but I have a couple different styles on here right now. I'm, I've got Occidental and Dead On. I initially started with some Dead On bags and it's time to replace them. So I've been slowly doing Occidental products. Uh, I got an Occidental belt, the Ranger's belt, three inch. I've got the suspender loops, which are much more sturdy than the ones that came with the Velcro. They were terrible and always bunching up. Um, I've got the dead on tool pouch still and the Occidental framers bag. The uh, dead on bag was terrible for framing. The speed square would constantly pop out. Uh, just did not work well for me for framing and I have the suspenders for dead on as well still. Um, I've added a couple of Occidental products to my rig and I'll go over all this with you. So I have a pry bar that I keep in here, a little small uh, Dasco Pro. This works great for trim work and what have you and I keep it where a cat's paw is an option on this bag. Um, sometimes I'll keep my slap tacker where the hammer loop is back here or other products, a big pry bar if I need to. Um, we've been doing trim work so I've got like brad nails and different screws in here but um, nothing major we have been doing some lighter work lately uh, in in here I have an oxy tool shield occidental tool shield and I carry my six in one it's a eight HDX from Hobie Depot they're like three bucks and they work great I know that they have better ones out there but for the money uh, this thing works wonderful I have my vice grips and they are my nail pullers. They're a decent nail puller. The problem I have is this, it's so flat here at times, it's, it's difficult. I wish I would've got the channel lock ones that have a little rounder uh, face to them, but they still work good. I've got my small level made by Milwaukee. These are awesome. They're magnetized. It's always reliable for me and they're a little pricey. They're about 30 bucks. Well worth it. I've had some other Stanleys and stuff that I didn't feel worked as well. And it's light. It's aluminum. So that fits right in there nicely. I've got a small fine chisel that I carry. Not for beating on stuff, but when I need to carve stuff out, this thing stays really sharp. It's made in Sweden. And you can find them on uh, Amazon for like 15 bucks. Well worth every penny of it. And it has its own shield that it slides right into. I also have my Knipix. Uh, I believe these are the, yeah, these are the 10 inch pliers. These are amazing. And they've replaced uh, any kind of crescent wrench I typically carry with me. I don't, I don't use crescents in my bag anymore because of it. Um, I've got a pencil that I keep a pair a piece of PEX pipe on the end of it. I don't know if you can see that well because of the light, but I typically will have PEX pipe at the end of my pencils so that I can just grab them when they start getting smaller. I don't have to dig for my pencil. I carry a Stanley um, razor knife on me. I like this model. I do like the slick ones, but this one's got a good curve to it and it's got a thumb stop here so I can really push onto something without worrying about my finger slipping forward and it's got a good grip. So that's the one I prefer to use right there. I keep a crayon in this pouch for if I'm working with metals and whatnot. And recently we've been doing some painting, so I have my uh, painter can, paint can opener slid in the front of my pocket. The pockets stay pretty open on the dead-on product here. They're not, they're not a spectacular bag, and I can tell that these bags aren't gonna last very long if I continue on with them. They're starting to rip and tear and what have you. I'm a jack of all trades, so I do electrical work a lot. And I have a couple of different electrical tapes hanging off of my suspender loop. Inside this side is my Occidental Framer pack, uh, pouch. It's, it's wonderful. I got my Stanley 25 inch Fat Max sitting in there. I have not had any problem with the break in on this. It's not too hard of leather. Um, I can tell after you know, years of wearing it, it will just be in and out real easy, but it's got a little hole down here. So you take your finger and pop it up and you can grab it in easy access to 
what you're doing there. Um, it's got another pouch that I can carry, I don't know, different things. I've got an air tool in there because we've been doing uh, a lot of fine work. I'm blowing off dust and sawdust and what have you. I've got my square that I keep in here. It's got a little pocket for it. It works out perfect. And in here I've got some uh, extra bits and nails and screws and, and things of that nature in this pouch here. Up front, I carry a nail punch. And then I also have this little container that I carry a pair of tweezers. How many times have you worked with wood and you wish you had tweezers to pull that thing out with? Well, I just keep them with me because I'm constantly working with wood. I don't like gloves too much. It just doesn't feel natural to me. So I just deal with the, the, the uh, splinters and there's times that you just can't get one out. Well, I always have tweezers on me. Uh, back here, I have another Occidental tool shield, which I carry my, I think these are uh, six inch Knipex for smaller things I need to grab a hold of. If, you, if you're looking for these Knipex, uh, or Nipix, however you pronounce them, I got a three pack on walmart.com for 69 bucks. I got the larger ones, I think they're 12 inch, the 10 inch, and the, uh, I think these are six or seven inches. And they're just amazing. I'll do a, a video on those one day, but these are excellent. And they slide right in this little tool uh, shield perfectly. Uh, back here, I carry my pack cat's paw. I got a stiletto cat's paw. It's titanium, ultra light, and it's awesome. Uh, highly recommend. It's hardly any weight at all on your on your bag. So that goes there. Um, I've got this deal here. It's an angle finder. So if I need to find the angle of something, I can set it up against the wall and then I can get my cut. It's adjustable. These are great handy little tools. It's old and worn out and that's okay because I love it and use it all the time. So that stays in my bag right here on the side, just like so. It doesn't fall out, stays put. Okay, so on the back of my bag, I have got the Occidental 4-in-1 where I keep my chalk line instead of a tape measure. Some, it's made for a tape measure, but my chalk line fits perfectly in there. I also carry a pin flashlight. This is, you know, you need a pin flashlight, right? Uh, what else do I have in here? I have a beater chisel. It goes in a little tool shield in here. In, in the five and one. And I just keep this beater chisel in there so I can pound on stuff when I want to or need to. So that goes in here. Uh, yeah, I'm missing it here. Right yep. And on the other side, I carry an ink saw, Milwaukee ink saw. Uh, this one's blue. I have blue, black, green. These things are great. They're better than Sharpies for basically every situation so they can deal with water and not ruin the ink they're called an ink saw you get a three pack of them for like five bucks <coughs> and they're well worth it so that's what i carry in this little four in one pouch here and ah come on sometimes it's a pain to get in and out because it's a new setup for me back here i'm learning Oh, back here also I have a S-Wing hammer and I've got the Occidental no slap holder for it. I do not recommend this holder for a an S-Wing or anything with a rubber handle. Wood handles slide out nice and easy. Uh, the rubber handles, they stick and you've got to be able to pull them out. So I'm going to be replacing that. Uh, unfortunately, it's just not going to work out for me unless I go get a stiletto hammer but I actually really like my S-Wing hammer. It's a 19 ounce and this thing is tough as can be. And I have several of the S-Wing products. I like the Stiletto products, but you know, I, don't, I think I'll stick with the S-Wing. It'll last me my career and all I have to do is change out this, this loop. It's great because it doesn't let the hammer slap you. 
you walk around with it and it doesn't slap because of how long this, this holder is for it. However, getting this thing in and out when I really need to, it's just a pain. You have to pull, pull, pull to get it out. So it's a goner. I'll probably put it up on eBay or something. At least get a few bucks back out of it. On my suspenders, it's, uh, they're padded, but, and they're made by dead on, but the back curls up, pokes you in the back. They're uncomfortable. I've got a little knife here for doing, you know, laminate flooring and whatnot, cutting it. I carry that up here and it seems to work out pretty well. Just keeping it up out of my way. I don't use it for cell phones. They make these cell phone holders uh, on these rigs, on these suspenders. And they're always made for like a 1995 phone. Nobody carries these anymore typically. So they're kind of useless. So I use it for a tool. Anyway, that's basically my pouch setup. I'm still getting used to this four in one and everything's still kind of tight in it. It's, um, that's why I'm having struggles putting things back where they belong. But once everything loosens up and I find my places of where they go, it'll be all fine and dandy. So anyway, this is my tool belt review. Stick around, I'll be getting some more reviews out here soon and I'm gonna be replacing this with an Occidental bag as well. Pretty soon it should be on its way. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll do a review of the new bag when I get it in. And thanks for watching.